I just want you to understand me and empathize with me. I sacrificed so much trying to make this fun experience for you. Is he eating? I spent 10 years of my youth on this. Even if you're not entirely enjoying the experience, don't you think you could give a game a 5 star rating? What? Oh man, I'm fucking this guy up. Oh no, 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 no! <laughs> Icy mate. I don't know what it's about because you recommended. I did. <laughs> he was playing a game, and I thought he's probably gonna like this. It's a it's an indie game, but it looks really fucking good. Yeah. So it's a Metal Gear Rising Revengeance side scrolling. So and those are my jam. I love those games. I absolutely love those <laughs> games. So I'm excited. Good. Let's give it a try then. I can see your eye. <laughs> How? <laughs> Select character. I see. So, I saw this on the Steam store and I thought, you like Metal Gear Revengeance, you should take this, mate. So what do you think? Well, first of all, stop getting the fucking name wrong. It's Icy, mate. It's Icy, like with your eyes. Yeah? Oh, God. It's not icy as in cold. <laughs> Can we get a cut there? Can we get a cut? Icy. <laughs> no, that's what it's wow. all about. And this, okay, so there's... A, yeah, this is Metal Gear meets Stanley Parable. Okay. So there is a story, but it's not the story of the game. Like, at what? all. It's, yeah, it's got a thing, like, where you're hunting down a guy, and it starts very sort of tropey, like, you are Miss Killer, machine of all the combos of death. And you must go <laughs> and find this guy and kick his ass because he's a dick. But then it very quickly turns into a very, very weird, over-the-top narrative. Really? Yeah. It's, it's fucking just going to keep your mind going, what the hell is going on constantly with this game? Wow. As uh, the narrator, it's, uh, the voiceover is all in Chinese, and um, you get English subtitles, but he's just so pissed at you all the time. Who's the narrator? Do we know? I don't know who he is. I'm sure that is the ending of the game, because that's going to have something to do with it. But right. it's Mater to the Wall. It's like smash the fourth wall and drove a truck through it so he just wants you to follow the fucking arrows man and that's what he's telling you all the time it's like and she walks in, he'll say things like an icy walks into the room and she follows the arrows to go to the next room but you absolutely don't have to do that right and he gets pissed at you <laughs> and then he trolls the shit out of you if you don't do what he says and he'll oh, really? literally say right i'm gonna go and get my dinner because you keep fucking about in the game i'm gonna go and get my dinner while you deal with this wow and then he'll eat He'll be physically eating while he's talking to you. He'll just it, be like, nom, 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 how are you It doesn't on? look like a jokey game, though. <laughs> it doesn't look like it, because the gameplay is fucking amazing. Yeah. But the story is all about the narrator and you having this journey together where he's trying to guide you from point A to B. And he talks to you as a developer. He's like, you think making a game's easy? I'm just trying to make it fucking fun for you. And you go around <laughs> and you're screwing around with what I'm doing. Uh, fuck you. And he just, he, the story is, is cool, it incredible? I, I think it was just... It was the perfect uh, counter to just raw action game. I was just going to say, it's a nice really well. twist on games that are generically like all gloom and yeah. doom, slice and dice. I mean, Revengeance stands out because the story itself is ridiculous, but Over it's also top. very dark and yeah. it's kind of interesting. But most of the stories in these games, if you think, I mean, I'm going to annoy some people now, but like Bayonetta stories all over the place and wonky, uh, you know, games that are some, like Transformers was a recent one by Platinum and their story was you know pretty lame and it ends up becoming just a brawl fest like back to back brawl fests yeah. uh, this one's the way they did the story broke it up tremendously so you had brawls really action past cool slick fucking brawls and then you had this weird story cool. that kept interjecting it to itself so gameplay then how did you find it well these are right up my street as a huge fan of Revengeance and Bayonetta and all that kind of, anything Platinum puts out pretty much besides Turtles uh, then yeah <laughs> I'm a big fan so and the, and the problem is you, when you get these games is is it going to be slick it needs to be slick oh, because there's yeah. so many people who are probably watching right now who look at the screen and go you're just mashing buttons. It doesn't make sense, which is not <laughs> what you're doing during these games. You're actually doing some very, very complicated combos, counters, and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. everything you'd expect from these games is there. You've got the combos that come with a notification, so you have to respond to them very, very quickly. You've got a decent-ish variety of combos. I mean, about 20... Right. Uh, where you're going to upgrade their effectiveness. So you do get an upgrade system, you get cash to spend, but you really, you're really you going to go through it and kind of add new combos to your arsenal, test them out, and then from there you're going to go with the ones you really use a lot, and then you're going to upgrade them continuously. Yeah, 
standard operating procedure for that kind yeah, of game. Yeah, pretty much. It? It, could have, it maybe could have done with more combos. I would have liked to have seen some more innovation there when it goes crazy. I mean, you always have things with Bayonetta where a hair turns into like a demon's foot and fucking crushes things, you know, <laughs> that kind of silliness. But the yeah. silliness is there. It's a real spectacle to be cool. old. What they've done is added a couple more things in. So if you do a really devastating ultra combo, you'll see these sort of blue... Uh, squares pop out those are energy that's leaked out of the enemies or whatever okay you could suck that in and then you do like an aoe screen wide momentary massive attack so it's got like a limit break attack mechanic essentially yeah it's not as interesting as something like you'd see in bayonetta uh but it's still something that you want to mix into your fights yeah and i think the biggest thing people will ask you enjoy these kind of games because if you've played these games and you do understand how they play is does it all flow together nicely yes it absolutely flows awesome. together really really nicely and you've got all the dash and stuff like that it does suffer because the harder enemies are obviously start getting things like immune to stuns or immune to light attacks right, have right. shields and stuff like that it does suffer that we found like a couple of hours in that the bigger enemies can a little bit force you to bait and cheese them and it's oh, a problem that you'll no. often get in these games yeah where you're waiting for like you need it to do a specific attack to then dodge that and initiate a counter move so you can do huge damage to them and then you right. kind of have to bait it back out again. So that takes you out of the flow of like you flying yeah, around you the screen and combos. using these combos. Yeah, you yeah. want to use these huge combos. That's but a as shame. the enemies become more and more immune to that kind of damage, or more importantly, similar to all these kind of games, is you could die super easily. Right. Super, super easily. So if you have attacks that aren't that easy to telegraph and they can one-shot you, then you're going to be falling back into the old, well, I need to kind of do this cheesy mechanic Bait in cheese. order to get past. Yeah, you've got to do the little bit of the cheese. So the gameplay is absolutely there, though, if you love these kind of games. The cool. biggest difference that you'll find from doing the other games is the hidden areas. As I said, the, the narrator, the story is trying to get you to go in a certain direction and follow the story of the game. Right, right? That's okay. what the narrator wants, yeah. is for you to just do the story of the game. When you deviate from that, you actually go further and do sections that are far longer than that are actually the story part oh, of the game. Oh, okay. Yeah, you'll do massive amounts of content and exploration by ignoring him. Even to the point, and it's kind of a spoiler, but not, it's a secret, where it's an interesting secret, is where he will be flat out block you from going somewhere and say, stop trying to go that way. He can't go that way. I've blocked it off. And if you keep trying, he's like, why are you still trying to go through there? And then eventually, if you keep trying and be persistent, he'll be like, fine, fucking go that way then. And look what I hear. Oh, it's something that's going to kill you. Well done, stupid. Uh, it's like an environmental thing. That's something I've never, ever encountered, especially in a side-scroller as well. Even things like with the depth of something like Castlevania, you never get something that's interactive as that. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, it goes further than that, though, because oh, it won't wow. take you into a area and he's like, yeah, look, dipshit, there was nothing there, stupid. Go, get, carry on with the story, will you? But you've had to try so hard to get into this area, it's going to come down to you as a player. And I'll be honest, I avoided this at first until right. the stream was like, you should do this. <laughs> and they were trying to troll me. They were trying to troll me to get me killed. It's like, you should do it anyway to see what happens. Lo and behold, it was a total secret that led to a big part of the story being uncovered. Wow. And all this kind of stuff. Yeah, and it was absolutely something that the narrator was telling me not to do. And your instincts as a gamer are, I'm not going to do that because I'll die. Yeah. Uh, but if you do do it and you are persistent, then he will do it. There was actually a moment, and because I don't know if this pays off or not, I'll feel free to share it, is you went into a kitchen, he's like, there's nothing in here. It's just old food. You want to go back to where you want. But there is a door in there that has a green light, but it won't open. And then he says, uh, I'm bored of waiting for you to go anywhere. I'm going to the bathroom. I don't know if you wait long enough whether you'll come back and be like, fine, I'll open the fucking door because that's the kind of game oh, it is. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's the way it works. So there's huge amounts of secrets and stuff going that's on cool so on the whole pros and cons wait 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 oh sorry mate there's more the soundtrack is crisp <laughs> i got that from the trailer the video is fucking crisp. it sounds so it's fucking not good. rules of nature no, no it's no, not of rules course. of nature but it's fucking crisp it's there. And i'll play a little bit in the background because the soundtrack is fucking awesome nice Yeah, as I say, the conclusion is the, the playstyle is there. 
it, these games are ruined. They're made or fucking destroyed whether or not the play style is slick, whether or not it's interesting, whether or not it's smooth, whether or not your actions matter. Because it can either go button bashy or uh, it can go into too slow and janky where it doesn't yeah. really make sense. And it's Clunky. not a satisfying combo and it works. But I love this genre and I could see what's happening versus I know how many people look at this and just go... This makes no sense to You're me. smashing your pants. Yeah, where everything you're doing is completely intentional. Yeah. And you're actually pulling off some really cool things. But a lot of people I know look at these. But I'd encourage anybody, if you look at it and you go, I don't know what's going on, play it. Play these games. Play Bayonetta. Play the Platinum games. Play Revengeance and play these. And just then once you figure out you are doing stuff correctly, mm-hmm. it's so satisfying. Yeah, So absolutely. I went for some huge boss fights, which I was getting crushed on to later progressing and getting better at the game where I didn't take any damage at all doing the same part awesome. of the fight. Yeah, that was pretty good. Uh, the cons then are really just that the hardy enemies do need, do need to be cheesed. And that really takes you out of the flow because you want to be in the thick of the combat and you want to be generating all these mad combos that then result in these AoE screen flashes yeah, absolutely. and these mad damages. You want to be doing that all the time because that's the fun part of the game. But as the enemies become more immune and they can just attack through your combos, then you're like, eh, I kind of have to pull back here. And the last thing you really want to do in these games is regularly be pulling back. Yeah. But the story overall is going to keep you going, what the fuck? And then throw you straight back into that <laughs> gameplay. Um, so my conclusion here... <clears throat> If you love this genre, you're going to fucking love this game. You're going to have so much fun with it. You're going to awesome. want to back it. You're going to want to fucking play with it. Anybody who's going to like this game is anybody who is a fan of those Platinum games. If you're a fan of uh, the Bayonettas and yeah. you're a fan of the Metal Gears. Even so much Devil May Cry, it kind of looks yeah, like Devil with the May juggling. Cry, if you've got any of that spectacle fighter where the fighting is completely over the top but intentional and you get you feel a sense of satisfaction when you play it correctly yeah. and you know that you dodged through that split second laser beam which initiated a counter which then led you smashing through the floor which then led to you ripping the heart out of something to regenerate <laughs> health and then twisted that into an air juggle lots of air juggling and stuff going on yeah. here once you learn that you're doing that intentionally and you're not just like uh, it's got that awesome. I think that's the important thing Good. Right. right. Yeah, right. Ranger game. It was so cool. They uh, look good. Come over here a little bit, mate. Oh, they look really good. Thank I enjoyed God. it a lot. It was, good. Uh, it was, I, I knew it was... As soon as you... It, the combat was good. That's all you ask for in these games is, is the combat good? If the combat works, it works then so you, that's, well. That's the yeah. thing that people rarely do is they... That's the foundation. Mm. Build around if it. If the combat sucks, you just go... Everything else just falls I'm apart done. so quickly. But it nails it. Uh, and the guy was uh, making the game for 10 years. He even shows you the old prototypes of the game. So I kind of feel bad for him in a way. I'm like, buy the game. Uh, it's pretty fucking good. Cool. So, so recommended? Yes. Recommended awesome. if you love those kind of games. If you're into them, go play it and you'll have fun with it. It's super cheap. It's like eight quid, I think. Cheaper Something than, like mate, at the mm-hmm. minute. But it is, it is eight pounds, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. It'd be pretty good. So if you enjoyed that, please check out our previous video, which was on Disgraced. Feudal Japan RPG. Mm. <laughs> Bye-bye. Wait. <laughs> Ride camera. Oh, shit! You could do it!